Hello my lovely Aries, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, please hit that like, share, subscribe and notification bell to let, to let you know every time I upload a video. I now do daily, weekly, monthly and the star sign um, or, um, tarot card reads. So please do go and check over on my channel to see what I've been up to this week. I've got four tarot decks uh, that I'll be using today. The first one will be asking what we need to know. The second one is uh, for more information. The third for general guidance. And the final one is for clarification. At the moment, I'm shuffling the Animal Oracle card deck to see what message needs to be given to you today. So let's get started. This is for all areas, sun, moon and rising. So please check out your ever, ever um, signs if this doesn't resonate with you. Um, and if it doesn't resonate with you, just leave it on the table and take whatever does. Okay, so the card that we got today is the Tarantula card. Okay, and this is about connection. So you need to connect with somebody. Maybe there's somebody in your life right now that you've lost a connection with, but you've been thinking about them. Um, and think about them quite strongly. And you need to have this connection with them again. Um, you need to build this connection. You need to, either they're gonna connect, make a connection with you, or you're gonna go make a connection with them. So if there's nobody that you've been thinking about lately, I think somebody might be thinking about you. This doesn't necessarily mean a romantic partner. This could mean a job opportunity. It could mean uh, an old friend coming back. But if you haven't been thinking about somebody lately, then somebody's going to come and um, is, and connect with you because they've been thinking about you a lot. Um, so we've got the first card out is the King of Wands. Okay, and uh, the second card is the Two of Swords. And the third is the Eight of Swords. And then on the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Coins. So the King of Swords is all about um, being a leader. So I feel that somebody has been thinking about you in some way and they want to take the lead of this situation. They want to come forward. Okay, so somebody um, is, please excuse the dog barking. <laughs> He's probably barking at air. Um, he usually does. So the King of Wands is, is a, about leading your life or leading a situation. So I feel that you need to, somebody is coming towards you and they're taking the lead of this situation. They've been thinking about you a lot um, and they want to, um, they want to connect with you, but something is holding them back. And this is, the King of Wands is saying they are gonna come forward. Uh, they are gonna take lead of this situation. Um, and they want, they want, they want to talk to you. They want to talk to you about something. However, the following card, you've got the Two of Swords. So the Two of Swords, as you can see, they've got the blindfold on. They've got decisions. So they want to come forward, but they're not sure whether they want to, whether they should or not. They don't know how you're going to react to this. So they've got their kind of their blindfold on. If I keep the blindfold on, then you know, and I keep thinking, and maybe they'll come and connect with me. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen. They need to make that decision. They need to make that decision of whether or not they're going to come towards you. And when they do, because I feel they are going to make that decision to come towards you, they're just hesitant to do it. You then need to make a decision of whether or not you want to accept. You need to take your blindfold off and kind of lift the veil on this situation. And is it what you truly want? Is it what you want in your life? So this is about them making a decision to come towards you, but you making that decision once they have come towards you, whether or not you take their offer. Because following the Two of Swords, you've got the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is about restriction. As you can see uh, with the person in the mirror and on this side, we've got all the swords like protecting her. Um, you feel like you're being restricted here or they feel like they're restricted. They don't know how you're gonna react. And maybe, I feel that maybe there's some long distance here. Like someone's moved away, 
and you, you're kind of on their mind and they want to come forward. But the decision they need to make is that how are you going to react with the big, the, the gap, the, the distance? How are you going to react? How are you going to connect with this person? How are you going to be with this person when there's such a huge um, distance between you both? And I feel like this is what the Eight of Swords is saying, that maybe you both want this, but the, the distance is just too far. And it's what's restricting this um, connection from moving for, moving forward any further. Because then on the bottom of the deck, you had the Nine of Coins. Um, and the Nine of Coins is about um, independency. So like this is about financial independence. So maybe this is could uh, be to do with some kind of work-related thing. And maybe it's just like this would bring you financial independence, but it's so far away. And that's what's restricting you from making this decision. And this is where the two of swords have come in. Like, do, like, what do they do? Like, where do they go? You know, what decision do I make? Do I take the blindfold off and take a jump? Or do I actually stay where I am? Um, you need to kind of take that blindfold off and see for what it is for what it is. But I feel like you, the person's going to come in and make a connection with you. He's He or she is going to lead this situation. They want to talk to you. They want to connect with you. But there's there's um, there's restriction here. And you have to make a really uh, tough choice. You have to take that blindfold off and make a decision of, of which way you want to go. Um, but you feel there's a lot of restriction in your way um, to make that choice. I feel that your heart is saying that you want to go for it, but your head is kind of saying, but there's all this restriction, what do I do? So let's get some more information. So you've got the Seven of Swords here, and then you've got the King of Wands again, King of Wands twice, and you've got the Nine of Cups, and on the bottom of the deck is the Fool. The Fool is uh, jump, take that leap of faith, go for it. Uh, sometimes you need to jump into the unknown to get the the, the thing that you really want to have. Um, it's kind of like leaving what leaving behind what no longer serves you, not what no longer makes you happy, and take that jump and take that leap of faith. And I feel this is a distance thing. I feel like you are there's a massive distance between you and this other person, and to make it work, one of you need to take the leap of faith to move closer. And that might be you. So what you need to do is look into your life and see, is there anything here that is really keeping you here? And if there's not, or there is, but you can, it can come with you, then, you know, maybe it's time to take that leap of faith, but only you can decide. And that is what the restriction could be. And that's what the two of swords is of making that tough choice. So underneath, you've got the king of wands, you've got the seven of swords. So the Seven of Swords is about betrayal. So look, he's taking his five swords and he's got the two behind. Like, do I take the two or do I leave the two? So this person that's connecting you could have betrayed you before, could have betrayed you in the past. And now you're a bit like, oh, I really do want to give it another try. But at the same time, they hurt me before and I don't know if I could trust them. And I've got all this like, you know, do I want to take that leap of faith and move forward with it? Or do I want to stay where I am? Only you can make that decision, but there has been a betrayal. But then you've got the King of Wands again. So you've got the King of Wands coming out twice. And again, so I, think, I think the first King of Wands was about the other person coming in and making this connection with you. And um, he's taking, he or she is taking the lead. They, they've been thinking about you a lot and they're taking the lead by actually making this connection with you and seeing if there is something that you two could work on and whether or not one of you would move closer to the other. This King of Wands, however, I feel is for you. You're the leader of your life and you can decide what you want for your life. You're a very focused person um, and you're very visionary. You can see things like the way that you want, where you want it to go. Um, this is about you taking the lead. What is it that you want? Obviously, they've put out there what it is that they want. So now you have to figure out what it is that you want for you, not for everybody else, not for that this other person or anybody in your family or friends. Or so what is it that you actually want to do? Like if you're saying, yes, I'll do it. But deep down, there's a nickel there that's saying, no, I, I'm not sure. Then you need to follow that intuition because you are the leader of your own life. And it's time to step up and be that. 
whatever decision you make, whether you lead your own life and you decide not to go for this or you do, you're going to be happy. The Nine of Cups is a wish card. Okay, so everything that you've been wishing for, that you are going to be fulfilled. Now, this could be that I wish that I could just start over on my own and I wish that I could find pure and happiness. You could have been wishing for this person to come back into your life, to give it and never go. Maybe this was a long, long time ago, like years and years ago, and they finally made this connection with you. And you know that this person could bring you so much joy and so much happiness. Or it could be the fact that I have found my happiness and my joy now that we're apart and I don't know if I want to disrupt that. But they are telling you, the Angel Spirits guys are telling you to take a massive leap of faith here. Jump. The universe has got you. They'll guide you right. They need to take a jump. What jump do you want to take? And then let's see what else. So any, what guidance do our lovely uh, Aries need, please? What guidance do our lovely Aries need? Okay. Okay, so we have what, Seven of Swords again. Under the Seven of Swords. A nine of Cups. And the last card, the Four of Pentacles. And on the bottom, you've got the Seven of Wands. So with the cups and the swords energy, uh, you've very much got uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And with the cups energy, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This could be you or it could be the other person. That could be one of these signs. Uh, this is what's involved here. Also, you've got the ones as well, which is you, Leo, Aries and Sagittarius. So I feel, because you've got the seven of swords twice. Twice, and they are underneath each other and that is underneath the king of wands of him the, or him or her taking the lead the other person taking the lead I feel this person has betrayed you in the past in some way I feel that they have betrayed you and you need to know whether or not you want to take that you want to go back to that do you want to go back to to the person that betrayed you that hurt you that you had to go and do a lot of healing work to be able to to be the person that you are now do you want to go back to that but there's underneath your one, underneath the king of wands here, which I feel is you leading your own life, is you're going to have a lot of, um, your wish is going to be fulfilled. Not only that, but the ever nine of cups is by the side. So you've got it underneath and by the side. You've got a tough decision to make. Step into your own power, be the leader of your life, and then you will be, your wish will be fulfilled. What I'm reading from this, and again, it's personal choice. You do whatever you want to do. It's your life. From what I'm reading, I feel that you need to lead your own life and leave the past where it was. This person's going to come and connect with you and there's part of you that wants to go back, but it's not going to be any good for you if you do. You need to move forward. Again, it's your choice what you do. I'm not here to can tell anybody how to run their life, but I'm just sending the message out of what I what I'm receiving they're saying you are going to have your wish fulfilled if you take the lead of your life and you move forward and don't go back because life continues to move forward life never goes backwards and then underneath the other nine of cups you've got the four of pentacles so the four of pentacles is um saving and security and protecting so look he's got two pentacles underneath his feet one on top of his, his head and he's holding one you've excuse me you've worked really hard i feel you've worked really hard on yourself you've worked really hard on what you want to achieve in life you've worked really hard to get over this betrayal and it's this is saying keep that You've worked hard. The angel's been guiding you through every single step that you've done. And you need to protect that. You need to look after that. Okay, don't give your power away again. Because then on the bottom of the deck, you had the seven of wands. And the seven of wands um, is all, sorry, is all about uh, defending what you have been working so hard for. So you are defending something here. You're defending yourself. You're stepping up and being the leader of your own life. You're defending your own energy. You're defending all the work that you've done to move past this, this betrayal that this person did to you. And they want to come back in now because they realise that they messed up. But I feel that it's too late. You have to defend you. You have to, you've worked so hard to, to learn to love and accept who you are for being, for being you. Or you could still be on that journey. 
Everything is screaming at me. It's like, don't go back. Look after yourself. Move forward. There's more. You're going to have your wish fulfilled if you continue to move forward. If you go back, you're not going to get that fulfillment. Or it will come around again, but you're going to have to go through so much more pain to do it. Do you really want to go through more pain? Angel Spirit, guys, can you clarify the cards on the table, please? Clarify the cards on the table, please. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the King of Swords, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. So it could be any star sign really here because you've got a bit of a mix of, um, you've got more sword energy, so um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy than you have anything else. So you or them could be that. And also you've got a lot of Wands here, which is Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So with the King of Swords, this is all about finding that mental clarity, which I feel that you need. It's using, uh, it's, it's knowing the truth, okay? And finding that mental clarity of what actually happened. And even if you can't find it, know that like I know my truth and I respect myself and I respect my truth to not come back. Okay, that's stepping into your power. And then you've got the Queen of Pentacles here, which is a nurturing. She's very much a mother figure. Um, she's been working really hard on herself. She's been working really hard on her career. Um, you're going to have a lot of prosperity and security coming towards you. Um, but I feel that you need to nurture yourself. You need to take care of you. Okay? And not go back. And then you've got the Page of Wands. Um, and the Page of Wands is all about inspiration and ideas. Um, you're very much a free spirit, okay? You're very much, um, you don't have to worry about anybody else right now. You just gotta worry about yourself and what is it you want. You've got lots of ideas coming towards you and you feel really like inspirational. Your potential is just out of this world and you just want to go and experience so much more that this life has to offer for you. But you're not going to get that if you go back. You're only going to get that if you choose you. Then on the bottom of the deck, we have the strength card. Okay, this means you have to be strong. Saying no to someone that you had a history with. That probably saying all the right words towards you. It's going to take a lot of your inner strength to be able to move forward. But using that inner strength, you're going to find peace. I think this card, this reading is all about choosing you. Choose you. Don't go back. Choose you. So all I've got for you today, my lovely Aries. Thank you so much for spending that time with me. I really do appreciate it. Again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload videos. As I said before, I do daily, weekly, monthly and the star sign tarot reads. Also coming up is the learn tarot so you can learn the basic meanings of each of the, each of the uh, tarot cards. So do hit subscribe. Anything resonated with you today, please hit that. Uh, please drop a comment in the comment box. I'd love to uh, communicate with you and I do reply to all my comments. Again, thank you so much this time. I hope that you have a beautiful day today and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.